NAPLAN is the National Assessment Program in Literacy and Numeracy. It's a test of literacy and numeracy that we run for year three, five, seven and nine students each year for all students around the country. Literacy and numeracy are fundamentally important. Uh, if young people don't get on top of literacy and numeracy early in the years and maintain that, then that's going to diminish some of their opportunities later on. That plan is an assessment that's conducted yearly. It's a pen and paper assessment uh, for young people in years three, five, seven and nine. What, what NAPLAN looks for is for um, young people's um, achievements in literacy and numeracy, um, in particular looking at, uh, at grammar and spelling, and uh, matches it up against national standards. So parents are really fortunate that they get a, a report from this and it shows them where their child is tracking um, against where, where we expect that they might be. The main thing that parents need to grasp around NAPLAN is that it is a test it's an important test, but it's not a high stakes test. It's going to be good for them to get a, a bearing on where their child is performing in relation to the other children in their school, other children in their, in their age group, and children nationally. But it's not the be all and the end all, and there are a lot of other important ways that they can ascertain how their child is going too. So it's an important test, but it's not the be all and the end all. It's going to take a few hours over a few days in early May. Uh, your son or daughter will front up to school with their friends in their classroom, working with their teacher to undertake uh, the NAPLAN assessment. So in some ways, it's going to be like other assessments that they do. Often I hear parents talking about how NAPLAN is a really high stakes, really important you know, assessment that people need to be taking account of. And I suppose my um, thought is that NAPLAN is just a point in time. It's just a snapshot of your children's education. And it should be used as an opportunity to start a conversation with your children, with your teachers, to sit down and work out how collaboratively together you can help your child with their learning and their achievement just to ensure that they can achieve all they're capable of, but not to put too much emphasis or create too much anxiety around NAPLAN. It really is one tool among many that, and one source of information among many sources that you should you know, draw on when you want to get a fuller picture of where your child is and where they, what they're capable of achieving.